So when it comes to split ends on your hair, there's a few things that you want to take into consideration. And in this video, I'm going to be explaining kind of what happens with split ends and you know how you can trim them, but also a couple of myths. So the first myth, right, is when people say, oh, if you trim your split ends, is the hair gonna grow quicker, right? So what I first want to debunk when everyone says that is, Think about this way, where does the hair actually grow from? Does it grow from here or does it grow from the scalp? It grows from the scalp, okay? So there's no way that cutting your ends, like all the split ends, all this junk down here, is gonna make the hair grow quicker. What it does do is, for example, let's take this section of hair right in through here. Let's pull this all forward. I mean, this, this whole thing is like completely fried. Okay, but there you can see the hair. So let's trim that. And this is, this is actually what you would do for split ends as well, is you can hold the hair out and just look and see where the thin part is, right? The thin area. And when it's really, really thin, that's where you wanna cut off and very, very straggly. And that is what's going to thicken up the hair strand to make it look healthier. Again, it's not going to grow your hair faster. What it's going to do is make your hair look healthier on the ends. And that's the whole point of trimming your hair so that it remains looking healthy and not you know, looking like it's really, really fried or really damaged or you know, the ends are just going all over the place. So what, what I did right here for this whole face frame, right, for this entire front section, is I, and you can do this, I'm doing this on dry hair, and with dry hair, that's what I suggest trimming split ends on, is you could see, right? You could see all the ends much better in their normal state. When the hair's wet, you're really gonna have a hard time seeing all that. So I'm creating a face frame, and now what I've done is I've you know, strengthened up the outer perimeter, and that is going to make the hair look much healthier. And if you're doing this at home, you know, I would suggest obviously using a hair cutting comb. I do sell these on my website, shop.thesalonguy.com. This little space, this little gap where the teeth are, it doesn't mean it's broken. It, it's actually designed to help you section the hair much easier like that. That's what it's designed for. And then I do have my own hair cutting shears as well that I do sell on the website. But you can take a lot of this hair in one section. Just keep in mind that different angles will play you know, a different role how you hold the hair. My best suggestion is to hold the hair out from the head like so, comb it through. If you do have a face frame, then pull the hair all the way to the end, right, in your hands or in your fingers, I mean, and then trim what you see that looks just very unhealthy and what you're gonna do is you're really gonna strengthen that outer perimeter up, all right? It's the same thing on the other side. Of obviously doing it yourself may be a little bit difficult, but you know, if your hair is a bit longer, then obviously you're able to see it and give it a nice little trim. You know, you do not wanna start messing up the, you know, the internal shape, right? Like if you, have a lot of layers going on, or if your haircut is very, very, very complex and very sophisticated, then you might need to be careful. If you do, however, want to trim up your layers and you feel like the ends are a bit, they look like they're split or they're, they're, they're dead ends, then really you know, what you could do is comb the hair straight up, all the way up, look for those those ends, right, that's what they are. They're split ends, they're dead. And you can then give them a nice little trim. You know, this is the easiest way to go about doing it without really messing up the actual haircut. But keep in mind, when you're cutting, you have the top, the corners, and the sides. So if you did the top, make sure you are pulling out the corners as well. And you have to be very, very careful that you're not cutting off too much hair. You know, if you are trying this at home, just, again, do it with caution. 
but if there's parts of your hair that really look so horrible, go to the salon, <laughs> get a haircut. But if you can't do it, then that's the best, uh, the best advice I can give you is to do it dry, do very, very thorough, and to just really take your time, look for the ends that need to be trimmed, and just give them a nice little baby trim. And then again, split, cutting the split ends does not make your hair grow quicker because the hair grows from the scalp, not the ends of your hair. It just makes it look a lot healthier. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.